welcome to Storytime today. It's so good to see your smiling face. I'm Mrs. Karen from the Harvard Dickens Library, and today we are going to read a story and do a craft about vegetables. Vegetables are yummy, aren't they? I hope you like them. I know I do. I don't like all the vegetables, but I like a lot of them. Vegetables is a word that starts with our letter this week, and our letter this week is this one. This is the letter V. V starts the word, there's our V right there, vegetables. And a V looks just like two fingers. See how my two fingers look just like that letter V? There we go, can you make a V too? Good job. Vegetables are awful yummy. I brought some to show you that I had in my refrigerator today as examples of vegetables. Here is my favorite, do you know what this one is? Broccoli. Yeah, broccoli, I think it looks like a tree, doesn't it? That's what I think it is. We call them little trees at my house. Broccoli is very, very good. What color is it? Green. Very good. Excellent. How about this one? This one is a good one. This one, you have to cook it before you eat it. You can mash it. You can bake it. You can fry it. It's a potato. Very good. What color is that potato? Can you tell? It's brown. Yeah, it's like a light brown. Potatoes are pretty yummy. How about this one? This one is, what color is that? Orange. Very good. Very good. It's an orange. This, it's not an orange though. It's a pepper. Peppers come in different colors. There's orange and red and yellow and green. I've even seen some kind of purplish peppers. They come in different colors and they have different flavors depending on the color, but peppers are another vegetable. And I'll show you another one that's orange too. Can you guess what it might be? I'll show you some baby ones. How about these? Yeah, they're carrots. Carrots are orange, aren't they? They're yummy and crunchy. Vegetables are good for us. They're very, very good. They help us grow big and strong. And they keep our tummies full, don't they? Now, I showed you the last vegetable that I had in my refrigerator. It was a carrot. Our story today is about a little rabbit that loves carrots. But he has a bit of a problem because he has too many of them. Yep, he's got too many. And that's the name of our story today. Our story today is called Too Many Carrots. And it's by Katie Hudson. Now, Katie wrote the words of the story, and she also drew the pictures. That means she's the illustrator of the story. So she wrote and illustrated too many carrots. And are you ready to meet our little rabbit? Here we go. Rabbit loved carrots. He collected them wherever he went. Can you see how he's pulling them out of the garden right here? There's some holes in the garden from the places where he pulled out the carrots, and I see there's a few more sticking up that he hasn't pulled out yet, but he'll probably get to those because he loves carrots. Rabbit was proud of his collection and burrowed it away in his cozy hole, but Rabbit had a problem, a big problem. He couldn't sleep. His cozy hole was too crowded to live in. What does he have his cozy hole full with? Carrots, that's right. Do you think he has too many carrots? Maybe. I need a place to sleep, Rabbit told Tortoise. You could share my house, Tortoise offered. It looks cozy and snug, Rabbit said. Now can you see what house Tortoise is offering to share with him? It's his shell. Yep, the shell fits tortoise, but do you think it's going to fit tortoise and rabbit? Let's see. Maybe it's a little too snug for two, suggested tortoise. Not at all, said rabbit. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Ouch. Ah, crash. There they go, rolling down the hill. Oh dear, well, perhaps we can stay in Bird's Nest, said Rabbit. My nest is quite small, Rabbit, said Bird. 
I'm sure we will all fit, replied Rabbit. Rabbit hauled all of his carrots up the tree. Can you see him going up the tree with all of his carrots? <laughs> He's got a lot. Whoa, groaned Tortoise and Bird as the branch wobbled and swayed and snapped. Crash! Oh, I'm so sorry, Bird. Now three of us don't have a place to sleep, said Rabbit. You can sleep in my house, offered Squirrel. Oh, thank you, Squirrel. How kind of you, said Rabbit. And there's Squirrel's house right there. He lives in that nice big tree. Do you think it will fit all of those friends? Let's see. I don't think any more carrots will fit, Rabbit, said Squirrel. Just a few more, Rabbit replied. Uh-oh, whispered Tortoise and Bird and Squirrel. Crack, crash. Did they all fit in Squirrel's house? Nope, they did not. Now four of us don't have anywhere to sleep, grumbled Squirrel. You can sleep in my house, called Beaver. It has plenty of space. Great, I can bring even more carrots, Rabbit said with a smile. But with all your carrots, we can't fit inside, said Beaver, a bit bewildered. Just then the rain started. Tortoise shivered. Bird whimpered, squirrel squeaked, and Beaver heard a terrible rumble as his house collapsed. Oh no, my house, yelled Beaver. Oh no, my carrots, cried Rabbit. Ah, uh, there they go down the river. What's going to happen to them, do you think? Crash! The friends groaned as they got swept up onto the riverbank. Hmm. What is Rabbit going to do with all those carrots? Rabbit felt terrible. His friends were cold, tired, and homeless, and it was all his fault. Even worse, Rabbit still had all of his carrots and his house. And that's when he realized there was only one thing to do. Share everything with his friends. After all, carrots weren't for collecting. They were for sharing. Look at them sharing all those carrots and rabbits' nice warm home. And sharing made everything better. And there they all are taking a nap after they've had a lot of yummy, yummy carrots. Carrots are pretty yummy, aren't they? I love them. How about you? We're going to do something with our carrots and the rest of our vegetables in just a minute. But I have a song to sing with you. It's about our vegetables and eating our vegetables. And it goes like this. Carrots, peas, and broccoli. Vegetables are good for me. For my snack and in my lunch, veggie sticks are great to munch. Carrots, peas, and broccoli, vegetables are good for me. And they sure are, aren't they? They make us nice and big and strong and they fill our tummies. Let's sing that one more time. Are you ready? Here we go. Carrots, peas, and broccoli, vegetables are good for me. For my snack and in my lunch. Veggie sticks are great to munch. Carrots, peas, and broccoli. Vegetables are good for me. Good for you. I hope you remember that song. The next time you're at the grocery store and you're looking for a good snack to eat, check out the vegetables. And you know what? That's what we're going to do right now. Because we're going to do something fun with our carrots and our broccoli, little tree, and our pepper. You know what we're going to do with them? No, we're not going to eat them. We're going to paint with them. Yes, paint with them. I'm gonna show you how when we take some paint and a piece of paper, and we're gonna cut up our vegetables a little bit so that they're a little bit smaller to work with, how we can make some fun designs on paper with paint using our vegetables. I'll show you a list of supplies 
I'll give you a minute to go get that supplies, and then we'll paint together. How does that sound? I'll see you in a minute. Who's ready to do some vegetable painting? I hope you said you are, because I sure am. Here's what I did first. The first thing I did was I put down some old newspaper on top of my table. This way, as I'm painting, I don't have to worry about getting paint on my nice table. Then I put my piece of paper that I'm going to paint on, on top of the newspaper. I've got my paint ready, my vegetables ready, and so now it's time to paint. We're going to use our vegetables just like a paintbrush. The first thing I'll do is use some broccoli and I'm going to dip it into my red paint and I'm going to see what happens. Can I make little dots with my broccoli? I sure can. Do you see how when most of the paint is gone, it kind of makes little blotchy spots? I can do that again, maybe tap off some of the paint and then do a few more little blotchies just like that. I could do that in the blue too. Let, as a matter of fact, let's do that. Let's take a little bit of the blues, another piece of broccoli. We'll dab a lot of the paint off and then let's dab, 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 dab. Look at that. Now I've got some pretty cool blue blotches from using my broccoli. I could also use my carrots too. Those are a little bit flat, so I'm going to cut, just dab those on here or there and add a little bit of color. I'll go ahead and use some red too and dab some red carrot blobs here and there. How about now? The most fun is my pepper. I cut my pepper in half. Look at the inside of that pepper. Isn't it pretty? This half of the pepper still has the seeds in it. Can you see the seeds right there? If I want to, I could save those seeds and in the spring, I could plant them in my garden and grow another pepper plant. But for today, I'm going to leave them in my paint. Maybe I'll get some of the seeds on my paint. Let's see. The first thing I'm going to do, I'll get the rest of my vegetables out of the way. I'm going to dip my pepper into the paint. So I've got it all along the edge of the pepper. See how I did that? Then I'm going to dab my pepper on to my paper, pull it up and look at that. Now I have a shape just like my pepper. I still have some more paint on there. So I think I'll do one more dab. Almost looks like a heart, doesn't it? Now it looks like two hearts connected together. That looks pretty cool in the red. I think I'm going to try the blue. I'm going to scooch the rest of my vegetables away from my blue paint, take the other half of my pepper, and I'm going to dab it into the blue paint. So I get it all on the edges of the pepper. How's that? I think I missed one little spot. Let's get it a little bit over here. What do you think? Should we try it on the paper? Let's see what happens. Press it down just a little bit, not too hard. Pull it up and look at that. There is a blue pepper. Now, if you have other vegetables or more paint, you can keep doing different shapes with your vegetables. Add more color, use more vegetables, you keep making your painting any way you'd like. There you go, and there is your vegetable painting. Hey, did you have fun making your vegetable painting? I did too. I think the pepper shape is my favorite, although I do kind of like the broccoli blobs there a little bit once I took some of the paint off, but I like the shape of the pepper. And I don't know if you can see, but if you look real close at the red peppers, I got some of the seeds from my pepper in the paint right there. I'm not going to take them out because that just reminds me that I used a real vegetable to make my painting and not a finger or a paintbrush or anything like that. 
I hope you thought that was kind of fun. It is cool, isn't it? And thanks so much for joining me today to read about too many carrots and to practice about the letter V for vegetable. I'm always so glad when you stop by. I hope I get to see you really soon at the library. Remember, make sure you keep reading. There's lots of good books in the whole wide world. So find some and read some with your family. If you don't have any at home, come to the library. We've got lots that we can share. Some are even about vegetables. I'll see you again next time. Bye.